Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to change the splash screen um, when you first start up your SNES Classic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, those who have moved on to the USB flash drive method of playing your games on your SNES Classic, when you start up your system, you are greeted with this. Just a nod to Mad Monkey who developed the original HackSheet software. Oh so yeah, nothing special about it, but some people wanted to know if this could be changed, and it can. So it's actually really easy to change that splash screen. All you have to do is have an image that is 1280 by 720. And we're going to go into our USB stick here. Let me go back one. So when you first put in your USB stick that's already been flashed uh, with HackG and everything, you have a HackG folder. You go into that folder, you have your games and saves folder. In here, you're going to take whatever image you want, rename it boot.ping. We're going to copy paste. And that's it. Literally, that's all you have to do to change your HackChi splash screen. And now with the new CE version of HackChi, um, you get a splash screen when you open up your SNES Classic without the USB. So that's one of the perks of changing to this new Community Edition version, is that you get a splash screen just on the regular SNES Classic. So let's take a look at this new boot screen. So yeah, I thought this one was cool. It was done by DanTheMan827. So yeah, I guess that's it. That's not it. There's more. So what if I told you you can have an animated boot screen when you start up your SNES Classic that looks like this? That was awesome! Yes, it was. So let me get my shout outs going. The first screen I showed you with the red um, background and the Super Nintendo controller logo, that was actually done by Dan the Man 827. Um, the one you just saw, the sweet Marvel looking one, that was from Defcorns. A huge shout out to Viral DNA on the Reddit forums. I've been going over there uh, more recently. So check out the, um, I think they're called subreddits. Uh, mini SNES and Mini SNES mods go there. Those people are awesome. Viral DNA is the one that came up with this, so you can have a different um, animated splash screen. There's no sound yet, as you can tell, but that's he's working on it. You may be asking, well, I want to make my own. You can. We'll take that Marvel one that we did just now. Let's cut that. Bring it to our desktop. We don't need you anymore, actually. Not right now. Okay, we'll paste it now. This is what you get. It's an HMOD. You right click it. We're going to 7-zip, but that's not a 7-zip file. Don't worry about it. Go to Extract Files, click OK, and we have a folder. Let's go in that folder. We have another file that we're going to go to 7-zip, and you can't see that, so let me move this over. 7-zip, Extract Files, extract them here. Now what is in this? Another folder. Let's go in that folder. Here we go. We have a bin file, an ATC, a readme text. Readme is just telling you that this boot mp4 right here, that was the animation that you saw. And all you have to do to make your own animation is to record a video again 1280 by 720. It cannot be longer than 10 seconds. If you record the video in 60 FPS, you have to add it as 6 FPS. Don't change the frames per second. If you record it in 30, keep it at 30. Don't try and change it from the original recording or else it comes out slow or fast. Rename it boot.mp4 and then you put it in here. Now the easiest way I found to install these is to take this folder here and we're going to rename it to Animated splash.hmod, I believe, yes. So you take this animated splash.hmod, which I'm gonna have in the description for you to download. Copy that. Go into your HackSheet 2 CE folder. User mods, and this is how you would install user mods if you can't drag and drop them in HackSheet anyway. You're just gonna paste it right here. So animated splash.hmod. So what happens now when we open up our HackG? 
go to modules install extra modules animated splash this is the one I just installed so that's why it looks this way but animated splash if you check that hit OK here's the box that pops up on our screen to hold tell us to hold reset and push the power button we do that the green bar appears fills in all the way and now it's installed to your system so all you have to do to change the splash screen because right now we have that Marvel one which is really cool um, all you have to do is change that one file this boot.mp4 we're gonna get rid of that I'm gonna open up a super secret one over here I'm gonna copy my own that I made I know right how did I do that cuz I, I know I'm not all that computer savvy but I did it and it works because I tested it so now boot mp4 our own personal version now obviously this is gonna save to your um, NAND so when you open up your SNES classic using the CE version it'll show up even if you're not using the USB mod which is awesome so because I want to install that new one let's go back to install extra modules animated splash hit OK holding reset and pushing power now this is going to take a minute. So. Okay, so there, it has been transferred, and that's all you have to do. So, that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Once again, I will leave everything in the description for you to download so you can do all this yourself. And with that, I will leave you with my creation. Thank you for watching.